started my video. Alright, so something bad that I actually realized about, um, about this is that villagers, even if they're fully healed, which, by the way, they made it, they kind of, like, yeah, it's kind of harder to heal villagers, especially Fletchers now, which is a bit concerning, in my opinion, but, um, so also when you restock, so once they restock their trades, the prices do get higher every single day, which I thought was such a massive concern, until I realized something actually very useful, something that we're definitely going to need to use a lot, and that is the fact that if you don't actually trade with a villager for one day, their trades completely reset, which is super useful, I might add. How do you make a blast furnace? Oh, and I was also thinking, if we find a mansion, there's something I really want to do. I was just thinking, what if we made a bunch of different armor stands with, um, like all that. Like, we'll make a bunch of different armor stands with, um, so how do you do this? Like, what do you put? Okay, uh, let's just, alright, you know what, let's just furnace a bunch of cobblestone. Uh, did we get rid of all our coal? Please tell me we did not. All my cobblestone is in this chest. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Let's just do half a stack, I guess. Alright, half a stack, because why not? I'd probably be better for just eight. Hmm, what can we use as fuel? Uh, I guess wool. Wait. Can we use wool as fuel? And if so, how efficient is it? Oh, no, okay. How efficient is wool? You cannot. I think, I thought you could. Damn. Hmm. I think you can use carpet as fuel. Someone told me that. Alright, here it is. Where's all my iron anyway? Why is it... What? Okay, um... I'm actually gonna take all this out. Go back over, over here. Where it really belongs. Okay. Yeah, let's just do eight. There's a bed. Where's a bed? I am so confused. Why are there no beds? Did I put my bed somewhere? Also, during the battle, we uh, both agreed that we get a crafting table. Why is there the one villager that isn't in its bed? And I, I mean, I know I was supposed to, okay, oh, hmm, okay, so, alright, um, huh. okay, what about you, what can you give? Nothing great, what about you? Hmm. Now this can actually give us enchanted bows, which would be pretty useful. <clears throat> hmm. I say we should actually, um, yeah, come, come here. Never mind. Oh, oh. That was a bit glitched. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see. This is already done, that's good. I'll make smooth stone, okay. Alright, uh, where's that jungle sapling? We had a jungle sapling, I thought. Oh my, it's... Mm. No? 
Here it is. Oh, we, yeah, we should actually start growing some of this. Yeah, why not grow some of the bamboo? Hmm. Alright, so we'll put that there. And... Just grow... Now, this is actually something that grows that you don't... That doesn't require water, which is pretty cool. Just... Wait, these only... So these break instant. Oh, okay. Yeah, these break instantly until you put another one on. And then... And then it takes more time to break. Oh, yeah, you can actually... Oh, yeah, scaffolding. Scaffolding is gonna be something... Oh, yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a go-to thing we need. It's gonna be a... Something we definitely will need. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is probably done. Oh, no, it's in here. Alright, smooth stone. Let's grab a little bit of iron. How much is it? Like, seven. I think. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, I have so many furnaces, so... Okay. Oh, guess it does only require five. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm actually... Uh, let's make another one. So I can use one for the villagers, and even though, yes, I believe their reach might reach all the way over here, you know, because villagers, seriously, you move them from the village, and they're still like, oh, cool, I can, I can see my workstation from here. I mean, like, seriously. It should be glowing if a villager attaches to it. Is, is that the right phrase? Like, can I phrase it like that, or? I don't know. Alright, so we want to be really close to the fortress and being, yeah. That'll be, like, go-to priority is to get to the fortress. Because once we start being, once we're able to heal villagers, now that's something that'll be really useful. Alright, one of you, why do I have two Fletchers? One of them might turn into, wait, what? Huh? What? Why did they not like the smithing table anymore? They, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would it cover the smithing table? Wait, so... What, did those not match something? Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna put this here. And I'm pretty sure one of you should become it. Y'all have beds, so it should work. Right? Okay, well. I think I'm gonna breed some more of my sheep. Actually, oh, I saw a baby I can do it to. Okay. I didn't mean to. Oh, wow. It's literally one of those, like, stampedes and movies that happen. See, I think, I think we may have said that one enough. I get. They, 
you know it'd be such an amazing feature? What if they made it, like, for instance, what if you could actually, like, if, if two animals had a name, there was a chance for, like, the baby to have that, that name. Because, think like, because what if we had, like, a bunch of Jebs? Oh, the XP. Come on. Okay. And bamboo actually grows fast in real life as well. Wow, we have done nothing in this whole video. Let's go check up on the villagers, maybe? They always do their business when I'm not around. Which, to be fair, is fair. Okay, so... Oh, we should try to make a lectern. Is that one of the things? Right. I don't understand why none of them are toolsmiths now. Why, though? Wait, okay. Uh... What the... Uh... Can someone explain the cat? Like, I am actually so confused. I... I, I'm just like looking at this armor. I see a, I see the cat come out of nowhere, and then I see a villager suddenly like. Another, okay. Um. You know what? Okay. Uh. All right. You know what? I haven't been mining in a bit, so uh, why don't we do that? Uh. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, I know, I know exactly what I must do. I know mu what I must do in this hardcore. I am going to make a 3x3 three three hole all the way to bedrock, and then make a ladder, and then make a ladder next to it, going all the way up. And then I'm going to, all the way up to the height limit, I'm going to jump off into the bedrock, which will have hay bales, with my protection four boots, and I will survive. I, of course, I'm gonna have a totem on me just in case, but I'm just saying, oh uh, man, that's gonna be so cool because literally you can survive like that, which is insane. Oh wait, there's gonna be a new bedrock limit. I I remember that now. Oh jeez, I better I, I better do that quick. Uh oh. So yeah, we actually need a bed. That's a rare occurrence. I almost always have my bed. Man, my inventory is so amazing right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. Where should, where should we go venture? Ooh. Are we... We have not... Oh, wait. Looks like we have been venturing out here. Well, oh. We might as well just get this coal. Oh, jeez. This is a lot. Here's the thing, is the first little bit to get to level 2 is the hardest, and then, and then, like, I mean, talking about with an armor, but once you get to the level 2, uh, you're, you're pretty much good. And I just re realized that, if, uh, yeah, I remember, like, Phil's a Minecraft, he was talking about how, like, spawn chunks, he's all talking about how, um, like, I don't know, no matter where your bed is set, it will, if you go through the portal, it'll, like, you know. I, I don't want to collect uh, any iron right now. Uh, you know what? We're going to go mining, so we might as well, right? To get a bit of a start. Wow, this is a massive vein. Holy crap. It's still coming. Jeez. And not to mention, this is only this side. We still have this bit. Which there might be more under- oh jeez, don't- don't put me in spawn chunks, please. Oh, okay. Like, holy crap, this is such a massive piece of, like, coal. Why, though? Like, I mean, I'm glad. Because, I mean, mining with the villagers is gonna be a lot easier. I mean, tra no, not mining. Trading with the villager will be a bit easier with this little ha How have I never mined this before? Alright, can we just admire the fact that this vein was legitimately... Oh, wow, it's still going. I don't think it was one vein. It had to be a merged veins. Or why is there a... Okay, there's iron over there as well. I think that's it. 
That was a vein of 74 coal. No, 75? 75 coal. Oh, yeah, I, I knew there was more. Please be so much under this. Ah, uh, come on. A little bit more? Okay. Either way, a 76 pieces of coal is so much. Like, oh my gosh, this is insane. What? Oh my. Alright, so listen, listen. We, we need this little, um... I always make a thumbnail. Well, I mean, not always. Only, most of the time I make a thumbnail for these. And I, I like it when it's, like, something that kind of shows that something happens during, like, the episode. So they're, like, kind of tempted to watch it. Man, the bamboo, though. Alright. So for this one, I know exactly what to do. Where's my toolsmith? Why, though? Why are none of you as freaking toolsmith now? It doesn't make any sense. Well, once I trade with them, or her, whatever. Once I trade with them, I'll be all good. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that cat is a different color. Uh, I don't know. Hold on, can I? Oh. So this will be the thumbnail. I'm like zooming in. Oh, okay, yep. Oh, exactly the level. Oh, I, I have lots of iron. And please tell me I... Ah, oh man. If I... You know what? Next episode, we can actually just grind lava buckets. Because we have loads of iron, right? I also do have iron in that blast furnace, I think. But I'm just grabbing... Because, I mean, seriously, that's a good amount. If I think I ever die in this, which, I mean, I will eventually, probably, but it's most likely to fall damage, I'll be honest. And, um, I saw this super clutch move this person did. They legitimately were falling off. They didn't have a totem or anything. They were falling off a obsidian tower. They didn't have a water bucket or anything. And they ended up drinking, literally, milliseconds before they hit the ground, they got the effect of slow falling from the- they were drinking the potion at perfect. Like, man, if they just started milliseconds after, they would've been- how can I still trade? Wow, okay, um... That's a lot of emeralds, though. Uh, okay. Okay, can I have- can I trade now? Yes, it is maxed out. Okay. We only need one. Jeez, that's actually so much iron. Okay. So here's the thing is, so if we have two of every single villager, that means one day we'll, we can spend trading with all those, and then the next day we'll spend trading with all them as they restock with their trades with normal pricing. Of course they won't be normal, because, you know, we're going to... They're going to be really buffed. Alright. Hello, Twitch. Hmm. Alright, uh... There's got to be lava here, right? There's lava somewhere. Oh! Oh, there it is. There it is. What the- Oh! That's a bit more than expected. Out of sight. Out of mind. So, here's a question. Does it get rid of your bucket as well? Because, I mean, now that I think about it, like, I could have been grinding, um, lava, right? But if it takes multiple buckets, it might actually be harder. What? Probably not. Oh, wait, what time is it? It's actually about ready for it to be 20 minutes. Where is it? Okay. I have an armor villager now. It does get rid of the bucket. Damn. Okay. What is it? 
Ooh, and breaking two. That's not bad. That's oh, we can actually get on breaking three diamond boots. Pretty quick. Cool and oh, hmm. That would actually. We have diamonds. I'm such a gambler with this. <laughs> well, be on. Let's be honest, guys. I'm such a gambler on in Minecraft. Like, ooh. okay. So, hmm. I think we are pretty much ready to go. Some. All right. I I don't think I'm gonna end the video. Ooh, there we go. Another one of those little glitches I do. Uh, yep, I can see the pixels of the ground falling. Thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.